Life doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. Like, pretty There's... dominant of fire. Who is he? <laughs> don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sit. Enough. I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Opium. Could be on train for Joshua being alive. That's to Margrace. No birds returning this year. <laughs> Deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria. The hair color. Don't. You get to see a little bit of the hair color. It's very close to Joshua. Back to where it all began. The hooded man. He must. 
must be stopped. Who is the he? Back to the hideaway. Isn't it supposed to be hopium instead of copium at this point? Great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. I don't ever see the trigger well, you know, Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Is that a fucking Moogle? Go funny. <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. <laughs> I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar the bowl. Nectar, you say? Clive. I don't think so I ever saw it. Seem. <laughs> it's an environment. That sounds yeah. painful. I never saw it the first time I was here. It was like the first time I saw this thing. Yes. What? Going purse weighing you down. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. There's no side quests here. Nothing green. Let's get this fixed uh. before someone. <sighs> Healed. Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. 
The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Oh, I will go. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. I trust you're settling in? Mm. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive.